Hey guys, it's Damon MBK, and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay. This game here you're watching was ripped from a, an open lobby that I had the other night, and there's no game audio because people were talking, and I, really, I, I just needed some gameplay, and I thought this gameplay was good enough, but I didn't want to be talking over the top of subscribers, so yeah, I've just literally muted it and I put some music there. I don't really like doing that, but it was just the, the best I could do for now. Um, I do do, I do do, <laughs> I do do, um, I do open lobbies quite a lot actually and if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook I'll actually announce when I'm doing them on there instead of putting a, a video out on the channel because I feel like putting a video out just to announce an open lobby is a waste of time and a waste of your time um, just to, to see a 30 second clip saying I'm doing an open lobby so yeah definitely follow me on there also if you're friends with me on Steam I will actually invite you into the game when I'm about to uh, do an open lobby but if you're busy I won't invite you so in this video I thought I'd talk about the next Call of Duty and what I'd like to see and a few a few ideas. This isn't um, going to be everything obviously because I can't fit everything I, I want in the next Call of Duty in one video but I just got a few thoughts and one of the main issues I have is perks and I really don't want to see a COG goes perk system. I prefer the Black Ops 2 and a lot of people will say there's not a lot of difference but for me there is. Um, when I play COD Ghosts I just get completely confused trying to set up a class on that. When I first got that game on release, I couldn't work out what to do. Um, there's no really point allocation system I can see that's as simple as Black Ops 2. And the way they done it in Black Ops 2, just perfect for me. They didn't split the perks up so much, it was ridiculous. So if you look at COG Ghosts, um, they split the perks up so much, there are so many perks, and I can't get my head around why they would even do that. Um, I sort of get it in a way that maybe they were trying to, like, cater to a lot of players. But I think they went a bit overkill, because there literally is so many perks. Uh, Black Ops 2 done it right. I don't want to see pro perks come back. I feel like those can have an overpowered issue. Um, and when I talk about overpowered, I'm talking about... Say, for instance, you look at uh, Black Ops 1, you had Ghost, and then the pro variant of that only makes sense, really, to be hired from enemy killstreaks or whatever, but it is, it's overpowered. It, just no way about it, it is overpowered. Um, they could obviously split the perks up a bit different if they were to bring uh, a pro variant back. Maybe the, the pro version wouldn't hide you from stuff, there would be a separate perk like Blinder. But... Um, yeah, it just it, for me pro perks are just an issue, um, and I don't really like pro perks. I like the simp the simpleness that comes with just having a single perk, and you select your perks. For me, Black Ops 2 got it right, and I really really hope that Sledgehammer take on that that sort of uh, idea. I know that they work closely with Infinity Ward on Modern Warfare 3, so they're more than likely maybe going to lean towards the Infinity Ward sort of style. So maybe we're going to see pro perks. I really don't know, um, but like I said, I'm really hoping that it's going to be the single perk uh, situation. The next thing is optimization. For me, being a PC player, optimization is the key thing, and it has to run smoothly. Um, especially Call of Duty, when it's not running smoothly, you notice it, and it's the same on console actually. Um, when I played on console a few years ago, when there would be a, a frame drop here and there because of a, a smoke grenade or anything like that, you can really feel the difference. So, you guys on console, I don't know if you've ever had that issue where you can feel the frames dropping a bit, but when you feel it, it is horrendous. And especially on PC, when you're running at maybe 120 frames and you get a little bit of a drop, you notice it and it can really throw you off. So, yeah, I really hope the optimization is there. For COD Ghost, it just wasn't, um, and that's what I fear. Um, I know the game is primarily based for console players, and it's fair enough because the market is a lot bigger, but I feel like if the next Call of Duty releases and it's not optimised, and it's at the same level of COD Ghost optimization, I don't feel like the game has got much of uh, a life left in it in terms of playability and the, the people. We've seen it already with COD Ghost, the mass exodus that has happened with the series. You can go on that and uh, there'd only be about 4,000 people now and it's just horrendous to think there's only 4,000 people on the latest COD and then sometimes there's even more people on uh, Black Ops 2 so yeah I think it really shows that Black Ops 2 got the optimization right. Uh, COD Ghost they skipped a corner um, and what I'm worried about is with Black Ops 2, you had the PC dev, and sadly he's he's left now. He's not with Treyarch, but 
he was working alongside Treyarch and he really done a good job with uh, helping out on the PC side of things and got all the, the sort of things that we need um, in place, like the FOV. For crying out loud, uh, a PC game should come with uh, an FOV changer from day one. Black Ops 2 done it and it was it was lovely. COG Ghost, we didn't have it, we had to use stupid little workarounds and now we've got an FOV built into the game, but it's 80 FOV. I still get headaches from playing at AEFOV, so yeah, I'm worried. Like I said, Sledgehammer have um, worked alongside Infinity Ward. They've learned really the the core gameplay mechanics from Infinity Ward, and uh, I'm just worried that they're going to take the the easy route and take the route that Infinity Ward did, and that was really not bothered too much about the PC side of things. And if that's the case, like I said, I don't think a lot of people are going to be playing the, the next Call of Duty either. So, yeah, optimization is just the next thing for me. So the next thing for me is I really don't want to see a server browser, and pretty much all the Call of Duties from Modern Warfare 3 downwards. So we're talking Black Ops 1, um, World at War, and COD 4. They all have server browsers and you think they're a good idea until the game is coming to the end of its life. And the problem is, I'll give you a prime example, is if I go to play Black Ops 1, I can't do it because of the server browser. Um, people for some reason love to play the same map over and over again and I'll get into that in a second. But you end up getting into servers that are the only ones that are populated but they have stupid game types and game rules in place. So you don't play the core game. You'll end up playing a domination for 40 minutes, stupid high score limit, and I literally just want to play a 10 minute game. And it takes away from the game itself. So, uh, for instance, it's the same with having uh, a playlist. Yeah, like in Black Ops 2, um, you've got the Nukejack playlist. But the problem with that is most of the uh, population of gamers on Black Ops 2 and PC, they're playing that because obviously they're the, the most favourite maps, but it takes away from the other game modes and the other playlists. And that's exactly how server browser works. It takes away from the core gameplay. So, yeah, for me, I really don't want to see a server browser and I really hope that it doesn't return. Because if I jump on Black Ops 1, it's all Nuketown and Array, 24-7, no other maps, boring game types, TDM, uh, stupid high score limit, and it's just not fun, and I really don't want to see that come back. Fingers crossed, uh, it's not going to come back. I'm pretty sure it's not in Ghost. Like I've, I've said before, I really don't play Ghost that much because it, it's uh, poorly optimized. But um, I would imagine if it was in that game, that game would just be horrendous now. So what do you want to see in the next Call of Duty? Uh, in terms of the, t the era, the time era that it was, uh, it's meant to be played in. I'm on the fence with this. I would like to see a World at War sort of style game, but at the same time, I would probably, not probably, I would love to see a COD 4 remake. And I know a lot of people have said that. Um, are they going to take the easy route? Because it's Sledgehammer, it's the first Call of Duty they're going to be producing on their own. Are they going to take the easy route and maybe even combine a lot of Call of Duty uh, games into one? Uh, you've got the Call of Duty Online experience for Asia. And that's basically COD 4, Modern Warfare, Black Ops. It's got a lot of elements for a lot of games mixed into one. And that does look super, super fun. Um, do you reckon they would do that for the, the mass market, for the rest of us? Um, I'm not too sure what I'd like to see. Uh, let me know in the, the comment section what you want to see in the next Call of Duty. I think I would like something like that. But then I think to myself, I've been there and I've played it. Even though it would be a bit different and a bit mixed, I think I would get bored of it quite quick. Um, like I've got bored with Nuketown. Because purely because I played it for so long. Um, it was the favourite through Black Ops 1, it's the favourite now through Black Ops 2, and people just play it over and over again. So, yeah, um, I think I'd like to, to see something a bit different. I think I'd like to go to the World War uh, era, just to, to go back there, because we haven't done it in a long time. And the weapons that you could use then, um, I know they're sort of limited, because it would have to be more realistic, but I think it would be... A good time to go back because we haven't been there in a long time and it would be a perfect time to be honest I think to go back because we've had so many world um, modern world uh, FPS games from Call of Duty in the last few years yeah I just think it would be nice to go back so anyway guys this wraps this video up it's uh, just a few thoughts that I had about the next Call of Duty um, and I really can't help but think about the next one because I'm not playing the latest one at the moment so I'm just excited I need a sink a bit fresh uh, to, to keep me occupied um, if there's anything you want me to go over, 
about the next Call of Duty, a few ideas or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely do that. Also head over to my Facebook fan page because I'm doing a, a few camo giveaways there now and again uh, just to reward a few of you guys because you're, you're just awesome. So anyway guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Later!